Hey guys, welcome to KB Tutorials. So in my previous video, we have seen how we can send a mail that using my Outlook credentials. So in this video, we are going to see how we can send the email, but the data for that email will come from external file. And also we are going to get the list of email IDs to whom we are going to send the email. Okay. And based on the email ID, we are going to change some data in our email body. Okay. So for this, I am using <coughs> uh, this file where I am going to have the list of email IDs and usernames to whom I am going to send the mail. Okay. This is a email ID and the corresponding usernames. Okay. Then the static uh body this is the body of the email okay which i am going to load it from the file then if you see it this component is going to be changed dynamically based on our email id and the username okay so now i have taken one empty I've taken one uh, python program here since we are dealing with csv files i have imported the csv and since we are sending the Outlook uh, email ID, which is having the Outlook credentials here. So I have imported this Win32 uh, package. Okay. Then first, let me try to read this data presented in the body. So for that, let me create one function. Okay. This is the definition. Def. Def. And uh, read file. Let me use something called path here. Then f is equal to something like file is equal to open of path. I am opening this one. Then then str is equal to here file dot read is my function. Then I am going to return this. if underscore underscore name is equal to underscore main. so I am starting my main here then uh, here the email we are going to read here list of emails so for that what I will see is going to open the csv file so for that let me use uh, something like with f open and my file is here so i'll use something like this copy here one dot csv Something like reading so I'll use our file here then um, reader is equal to CSV dot reader of our file okay I need dict reader so I'll use this one dictionary reader okay then the data will be here now let me use for loop here for go in reader then i'll have this one let me try to print what is there in the excel sheet that is a csv sorry in a csv so i have username Try to execute this. Okay. Once we get the data properly, what we can do is we can directly go ahead and uh, send our email ID. So let me try to execute from here. Yes. So our program name is email body demo. Right. So I'll use Python email body demo is not defined okay should be i think open on dict reader okay csv reader dict reader it 
should be caps Now we could see we got the email id we got the username and the email id similarly for the second record so now it's working fine then what we need to do now we are we need to create our instance of email ids here so for that <coughs> let me create objects here so let me try to Look is equal to win32 dot dispatch dispatch of outlook dot application and um, mail is equal to outlook of create item of zero okay right then we can simply to i have the mail object now so from here mail dot subject is equal to subject is equal to something like this python reading demo something like this we can create and mail dot to to whom we are going to send a mail so that will be like this i'm going to send it to him then mail dot <coughs> body right so body for body i need this one so before that here we'll get the complete uh, static data that is there in the body right there in the body what we need we need to replace this one also so what i'll do is i'll create one variable here first and try to get the data so um, like uh, data is equal to equal to read file of read file of this particular file path Body.txt. Then what I'll do is here da data is equal to data dot replace of what data I need to replace. So this user value I need to replace with this value so that I will have the what I'll have. I will have the dynamic data here then this will be uh, so email body will have this data which is coming from our external file right then simply you can send a mail once it is sent let me try to print something like send successful Now let me try to execute this. Now you could see it got sent successfully. Now let me try to open my email id and see those executed commonly or not. I have given two email ids right. So let's see those are coming properly or not. The first one is KB Karthik 662, second one is Gautam Karthik. So, uh, Gautam Karthik 534, this is my actual official uh, email id for the YouTube. Now you could see from my here uh, from my outlook that means it is using the outlook credentials i have received that mail and the subject is python reading demo which i have given properly here 
python this is my subject where is the subject python within demo and this is my data as i said this is the data is there okay and this value is replaced dynamically here based on the our input data that is this one okay similarly let me try to see that another mail comes currently or not here so this one you can actually use it as your small project and show a demo i hope it's informative for you guys and if you have any doubt let me know in the comment section so that i can help you more on this topic so now you could see we have received the mail and we have received the data properly here still loading but i am confident here you could see we received the data properly so from this tutorial we have learned how we can send the data from the external file uh, in a email body i hope it's informative for you guys if you have any doubt do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching thank